the expert I spoke with today say there's really no perfect plan because every situation is different, but here are some things to know that could help keep you and your family safe. We don't have a lot of need uh, for individual protection in our legislators. Vermont's Capitol Police is still taking extra precautions after a gunman opened fire on GOP lawmakers during their practice for an upcoming charity baseball game. We've been getting reports throughout the day from them and we'll use those reports to adjust uh, what we do and, and, and how, we're, how we're working. But what happens if you're not a specially trained officer? How can you stay safe? If you're wounded, the key is to act fast. The leading cause of death after an event like this is uncontrolled bleeding. And uncontrolled bleeding, at least from the extremities, can be very well controlled temporarily with a tourniquet. And if police or medical help isn't available, security expert Rob Evans says fighting back can be an option. You know, the worst thing that can happen is if that bad thing takes place that we get into that fight or flight type of syndrome where we freeze and we do nothing. Doing something is always better than not doing anything at all. Evans says those that ran for cover after shots were fired did the smart thing. His number one safety tip? always be aware of your surroundings. If something looks suspicious, if somebody looks suspicious, it's that old federal adage, you know, if you see something, say something. That if things just don't look right, don't keep it to yourself. Um, have a conversation with somebody, a, a position of authority and responsibility, local law enforcement, those types of things. And don't, don't just think somebody else is taking care of that. Now, officials tell me it's unfortunate that shootings are becoming more common, but that we all have a personal responsibility, they say, to have a plan should you get stuck in a dangerous situation. Live in the newsroom, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.